thank you for clicking on my first video. I have made hundreds of YouTube videos in the past, but I never follow through with it and uh, want to give it another go. Today, we're going to be making this bee. He's cute. He's a little squishy. And uh, it's very simple, honestly. So if you would like to crochet and chat with me, stick around. I do talk a lot but I make crocheting fun. It's like having a little buddy to crochet with instead of just sitting with your thoughts. You have somebody to listen to, rant about positive things. So thank you for clicking on the video. And uh, if you wanna see how to make little B, keep on watching. I'm gonna test this out because I've been wanting to make videos for so long and I feel like now is a perfect time. I became so confident with my crochet ability. So tonight we are going to make a bee. It's gonna be a very simple video. I'm gonna start by getting all of my materials together and I'll show that colors now. that you're gonna need for this. And for this pattern, I'm using the baby bee yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna use this yellow color. I don't remember what color it is because I ripped the paper off. And then I'm using this black. I have a little bit left that I wanna use up first and I. Honestly, I might not even need to go with the skein, but I organized my stash today, so I found these little balls that I uh, want to use first. And then we're going to use this for the wings. It's the old Bernat baby blanket, and it's like crusty, and we need to use it up so we can get the soft stuff. I refuse to throw anything away or waste it, so I need to use this. I'm going to use a 5mm hook, beautiful hook from Hobby Lobby. I love this thing. This rubber is like so soft. Highly recommend this. We are now going to start our B pattern. We begin by chaining two in our main body color, which is gonna be yellow. I'm choosing to do yellow. And now we're gonna do six single crochets. Um, it says in a magic ring. I do not use a magic ring. I just do a chain two. I've tried to learn how to do a magic ring and I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I, I, I've tried um, since I started. And honestly, that is what held me back from starting crocheting is that I could not do a magic ring and I got really frustrated and it was just a whole big ordeal. So we are now gonna do six increases and this is round number three. So an increase is just gonna be two single crochets in the same stitch. So we did six increases and we have this little circle right now and we're gonna do a single crochet and an increase times six. And this is the point where I don't want to count to six. So we're going to get a stitch marker. Uh, but we're going to put this in the current stitch that we're in. And then this is going to be the beginning of a round. Now, I will count to six, but um, now's a good time to start marking what row you're in, actually. So we are on six single crochets and an increase. Or er, <laughs> single crochet increase times six okay i've wanted to do youtube since i was a little girl i used to make videos of me doing the rainbow loom bracelets and the string bracelets and i think i titled them like making a bracelet because i feel like it and it was like fuck or freaking like a minute long but i mean that was the start of my career and i've since then made vlogs that I didn't like so I think I don't know if I took them down or not I made some cute little videos but it just wasn't me like this is more me and I'm really into crochet now so that's what we're gonna work on so we have done six single crochets and an increase times six we are now going to do take a guess what the next couple of rows are gonna be two then three then four so we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. One, two, and then an increase, which again is just two single crochets in the same stitch. We are going to do round five we're on now, which is going to be three single crochets and then an increase. You will notice if you're doing something that's gonna be staggered like a ball, you're gonna do one and then an increase two and then an increase, three and then an increase, all the way up to sometimes several, and that's kind of like a, you know, that's what I've done personally. Maybe you go to more than seven, but 
The most I've done is seven, and that was actually my own pattern for a pumpkin. Uh, as I've stated before, we are doing a staggered increase. So I'm currently doing four single crochets and then an increase. We have done four and then an increase. And now we're actually not gonna increase anymore yet. And this is looking a little bit smaller than my other bee. So we're currently, that was round six. This is the most useful thing ever from Hobby Lobby. I've used this so much. You, you have to get yourself one. It has a row counter. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care which one you get. You have to get one if you're crocheting. Okay, this thing's amazing. They're so cheap, so underrated. So underrated, okay? I'm gonna start this up. For around seven through nine, we're just gonna go around and do 36 stitches. And the last stitch of row number nine, we are going to switch to black. I will post the rounds that we've done so far. I have it wrote down. Um, I'm gonna do that real quick and then I will put a time lapse of me doing those few rows. Okay, we are now approaching the last stitch in the round. Uh, this is round nine. We haven't completed the round yet on the stitch marker. And what I've done, I'll actually do it again to show you. So this is the second to last stitch now. So what I like to do for an invisible color change because I could just yarn over with the black. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna... We're gonna pull through with the yellow, okay? So we have two loops on the hook. I'm gonna hold this with this. Take the end of this, and I'm gonna try my best to finagle it so it uh, kinda works out here. Uh, I can't really show you, <laughs> but you're gonna pull through with your new color. And right now it is gonna be loose and it's gonna be kinda hard to uh, get it tight until we kind of move on to the next stitch and then we'll tighten everything up. So rounds 10 and 11, so we're now on round 10, is gonna be black. And then we're gonna switch back to yellow, and it's pretty much like back and forth like that. So I'm gonna yarn over and pull through with the black. So um, we're gonna have pretty much an invisible color change here, which is amazing. I mean, not an easy feat. I've made one of these before, and it makes the color change pretty much invisible. You can kind of see it right there, but we'll, we'll see it as we go on. So. We are going to do rows 10 and 11 in black, currently on row 11, and uh, it's the same thing. It's 36 stitches in black. So uh, you go ahead and do rows 10 and 11, and then I will check back with you, and I believe we're gonna switch back to yellow. We have so far is one row of black and it's looking um really good and it's gonna be cute i won't run out of polyfill okay so we're gonna switch back to black um this is our color change right now it doesn't look bad it could definitely look worse it looks a little funny but i mean that's a pretty good color change i'm not gonna lie we're now on rows 14 and 15 and we're on black so I'm again gonna do another time lapse of me doing this next black stripe. And there's only two black stripes. That's pretty easy. So rows 14 and 15 and I'll see you later. Okay, so we're one last time gonna do two rows with yellow and then we're gonna start decreasing. So in the last, stitch we're gonna pull through with black and yarn over with yellow and this is gonna be our last color change if you'd like to cut the black you totally should do it now my yarn's starting to get tangled a tad bit so i'm definitely going to and we are now starting row 16 and you are going to single crochet around 36 again two times for row 16 and 17. so i'm going to do that to meet back because we will begin decreasing
We did rows 16 and 17 with 36 single crochets. We're now gonna add on eyes with the color change on the bottom, which is what my notes say. Color change on the bottom. And we're gonna put them between rows four and five. Now, if you don't know how to count your rows, have you ever seen somebody say, how many rings are around a tree is how many years old it is? Well, this bee's about 10 years old, okay? So, the middle is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel like that's kind of wide. <laughs> that looks like shit. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix him. Okay. I want the color change to be on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of crooked, Jamie. Okay. Move it down. How do we feel about right there? Do we want them higher up? That's good. This is a chat and crochet. Feel free to skip me talking if you want to or mute the video. I don't really care. Uh, or just click out of it completely, but I mean, this is your time and you're choosing to spend your time with me and I appreciate that. So, we're gonna do some more to make this dude look better, I promise, okay? So, we're gonna go back to doing our rounds, but I also wanna chat with you as well, so this segment might get a little bit longer than the other ones I've done so far. Our next row is gonna be row 18, and guess what? There's only 20 rows, so we're almost done anyways. We do have to make the wings, but you can do it. Okay, so we're gonna do four single crochets and a decrease. And while we do that, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit. So speaking of age, in just a few days, I'm gonna be 19. And even saying that out loud is unreal. I have, uh, I've been doing my own thing since I was 15 and I have my own everything. I, I've created everything for myself. I started with nothing and I've ended up with the, like, I, I have everything I could ever ask for and I did it for myself and I also do thank God for everything that I have, like every fucking day because I am just so insanely blessed. But aside from that, I am only 18 and I have accomplished so much and I have so many people have said that to me and I don't really hear it but now seeing that I'm about to turn 19 my teenage years are almost over and I didn't party I didn't uh you know do all the normal teenager things but honestly I don't really regret not doing it because I went to one or two parties total and that was enough for me to never want to do it again it's just simply not my thing and uh i'm very content with sitting at home and crocheting and i just i love the peace that it brings we're on row 19 and we're gonna do three single crochets and a decrease okay so, this past year, I've lived here for a year now, I just re-signed my lease, I've spent a lot of time with myself, and in that time with myself, I've learned a lot of things about myself, and it's really crazy what some time alone can teach you, because sometimes you think that the problems in your life are reflected from other people's actions, but you really just need to look within. And I'll give you guys an example from today, because uh, today I struggled, but I was wise enough to see exactly why I struggled, okay? So, I woke up a bit tired, and I usually feel rejuvenated because of how well I do tend to my bodily function, but I woke up tired. And had way too much caffeine today, which does not help. Uh, when I have too much caffeine, I cry, and I know that. And uh, I don't know why, but I just know it happens. <laughs> so, I got a little irritated, uh, more than a little. I was very mean today. And 
the reason why is that I've been very upset with myself and I've been not nice to myself. We're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease for row 20. Oh, I'm sorry, there's 22 rows, it's on the next page. 22, not bad. So, I was mean today. And at the end of the day, I'd apologize to people that I was mean to. Uh, and I really did mean my apology. And I've worked with these people for years and they know that, you know, I'm not a bitch all the time. <laughs> you really, I really am a nice girl. I try to do everything as well as I possibly can. Some days are obviously gonna be bad, but okay, point being, I've noticed, I mean, at a very young age, not even now, when I was like middle school, I knew that when people are rude to you, when people bully you, when people feel the need to talk behind your back, to create drama, to have snarky comments, man, anything like that, picking on somebody else's looks, like anything like that, it's all coming from an inward source. It is all coming from the own personal problems are being projected onto you. And when somebody is treating you like shit, it is because they feel like shit and that's not an excuse. But what you can do is you can either take their shit, their shit that they're putting on you, and you can let that make you feel like shit, or you can brush that shit off your shoulders and you can be better than them and be a kind soul and realize that to deal with those negative feelings, you don't need to take them out on other people. What you need to do is spend some time alone and look inward and you'll see that you could truly grow as a person in a short amount of time. And um, I just, it's difficult because no matter how much I preach it, it, the problem is still going to exist and people are still going to do it. But if I can help anybody, anybody at all, then that would be worth me saying it again and again, is that if you, if you feel the need to talk badly about the way that somebody else looks, are you insecure about yourself? Genuinely, are you? When I have a bad self-esteem day, I tend to look at other people and think some bad thoughts. The days that I'm very happy and I feel beautiful, I don't feel the need to be shitty. I'm kind, and I think that that bothers people. I think that that really bothers people that I'm truly comfortable with myself and I'm happy, and they see that and that pisses them off. Really, I do think that. I'm not full of myself, I'm just happy confident and not in not a bad way though that was a rant but this is crochet and chat guys so we've stuffed him okay while i was talking we stuffed him he's cute a little, a little hole right there we're gonna stuff him a little bit more but we stuffed him pretty good okay so we're now on row 21 we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease. Uh, the whole point of that rant is from all the time that I've spent alone, if I could say one thing, from all the time that I've sat here thinking and journaling and reading and crafting and everything, if I could share one thought, it's that, is that your daily negativity, you know, all the stuff that I just ranted about, I'm not going to say it again, but that daily negativity is going to shape your life Okay, you do not want your past, like insignificant past problems. I'm not going to say significant, but something small. You do not want that to continue to shape the rest of your life. Okay, like if I, and I do this, think about bad things from the past. Okay, you got to let that shit go. I heard the very wise man on a YouTube video, psychology type of dude. I don't know what his name is. I think it's like Gem Vita or something like that. He's a cool guy. He said all we have is the present moment. And that the past only exists in our mind. The future hasn't happened yet. All we have is right now. You're watching this video and I'm in the past. So I guess it does exist. But for you going day to day about your life, 
We're gonna do six decreases, by the way. Do you spend time like constantly thinking about what you're doing next? Which that's not always a bad thing if it's manageable because I found a lot of success in doing that where I can set aside like a minute per day and be like, okay, we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna go to the car wash, we're gonna go to Giant Eagle, and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna finish this project, vacuum, take a shower, you know, I make a little plan in my head, I really do. Well, it doesn't have to be in that order. It's good to think about plans like that, but if you're always worried about something, this is really serious, okay? If, if you hear anything from all my rants, hear this. If you're always worried about something that's happened in the past or that's going to happen in the future, you're never gonna enjoy the present moment. Like, you're not, you're not living. You're living in your head. Like, you have to just get rid of that and worry about what's happening right now, okay? I'm not doing that because I'm not focused on my B, but you know what I mean, okay? When I go about my day, and all I can think about, we're gonna fasten off. All I can think about is like what I'm doing next. I realize like I'm here with all these people right now that don't necessarily see everybody as a friend, but like I'm here with all these people now that I can chat with, I can learn from, I can, uh, especially customers at my job. I do love being a server. I love talking to people. If you can't tell, I don't shut up, <laughs> but you can learn so much from talking to other people and from just listening, really listening. Put aside what is constantly running through your head and listen to what somebody has to say. Like knowledge is the key to everything, man. You can never have enough. You can never know enough. Like seriously, okay. This, uh crochet video has turned into me ranting about things that I'm passionate about, but uh, I am quite sleepy and maybe somebody will appreciate this. I'm not sure. Okay. We fastened off and what I've learned is to go around the circle and go in and out like alternating and then when you get bruh, I just undid that one. <laughs> when you get back around to the first one you should be able to just close up his butthole pretty easy. Like that. Yes, he had a butthole. That's what that was, okay. So this is our little, this is our little mister right now. These are gonna be only four rows. Super simple. Now when, I hate this yarn. Look at this. <laughs> We're gonna freaking chain two with this crusty stuff and then do six in a second chain. Two, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna do six increases. I'm gonna weave in this uh, tail with it because I think we do have to weave it in at the end and I'd rather do it now. So that is uh, increase Number one, this stuff's really hard to work with in my opinion. I really just cannot get it to like. <laughs> this is number two. And then we're gonna do a single crochet and an increase time to six. I really don't even wanna use the stitch marker because this is so small, but um, we're gonna do it. Increase, single crochet, and that is times six. Okay, so to go over what we have done so far, for his little wing. It's just a little circle, guys. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. You can do it. Uh, we are going to chain two and do six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. We are then going to do, for round two, six increases. For round three, we are going to do a single crochet and then an increase times six. And that will leave you with 18 stitches. For round four, I want you to take a guess. Guess and don't be wrong, okay? I'll give you a second. What is round four? <laughs> the silence is uh, crazy. 
Same with crochet 18. That is round four. And uh, after you do 18, which you're just about done here, we are gonna fasten off. And I did not leave a long enough tail last time, so we are gonna leave a long tail. I'm gonna make another wing and I'll be back, guys. We have our little wings. We're gonna sew our little wings on our little bee. My way for sewing these is I seen a picture of them sewed like directly at the top here. We're just gonna put them right here, I think is good. That's good. You can flip them either way, but um, we'll probably leave them like that. So we'll do a couple stitches here. Not just one. We're going to do a few so it's held on there pretty securely. Okay. So what I did was I kind of pulled it through over here, and then we're going to hide it. That amigurumi is super simple. I mean, you do not have to weave in the ends. We are just going to tuck, tuck it right in. There's the one wing. It's looking a little silly right now. We are going to do the second one and I'll be back. So the wings were like kind of separating, so I put them together and I think that's really cute like that because he looks like he's flying. Um, I like change stuff up every time I make something. I totally should have stuffed him more, but I got carried away with my talking. We're not gonna sew on the eye details. We're just gonna leave them simple and cute. So here's our completed little bee, a little squishy. Here he is. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much if you watched the full video and listened to all my things I had to say, which you probably didn't, but if you did, I appreciate you. I will be making more videos that are most likely better quality, hopefully, making more things. Let me know down below what you want me to make. Here's a little buggy, super simple pattern. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial for whatever else it may be, I can do something more serious, but I really like the crochet and chat aspect. I haven't come across a video like this myself, and I would like to watch one. So there's that. And thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed making this little bee. And if you have any questions about the pattern, let me know. I'm going to post again uh, the pattern here, and then we'll close out after that. There's the pattern again for you guys, just in case anybody needed anything at all. But uh, thank you so much for watching. He's cute. The wings are not completely centered, but I tried my best. There he is. Hope you guys had a great time listening to me, and I uh, would love to see you again sometime. Be safe and uh, live in the present moment. Always. Very important to do. All we have is the present moment. See you later.